Hey there, it's Mike here. You guys know me as Mike for Maine. Today we're going to be taking a look at a video called The Easiest $1,500 a Week Method to Make Money Online for Beginners in 2023. Easy Side Hustle from a channel called Muhammad. Now, he, this video already has 589 likes on it, only 13 dislikes, and he's got some real proof inside of here, which always gets me excited. When I see people sharing real screenshots of real money that they've made, then I say, okay, let's take a look at what they're actually saying, and it's not going to be some theoretical BS. So let's go ahead here, and I'm going to like this video. If you guys can like my video, as well it really does help out so 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 much with my youtube channel and i appreciate it and if you want to hit that subscribe button and bell notification that helps out as well let's jump into this all right habibi look so you can see right here i made four thousand dollars in one month on etsy with one store and then this other store right here so this one made six thousand dollars literally in the same month so overall it's like ten thousand dollars on two stores and in this video i'm gonna show you He's really, he's faster than I am when he's getting into this, but I love how he starts off by just showing the proof. Like, that's great. Show me that you've actually done this, and then I'm gonna definitely listen to what you have to say. Exactly how I did that, so that you can replicate it, and trust me, this one's actually a lot easier than you think. But now, like, why am I sharing this whole thing with you? Well, because I got banned on Etsy. Like, I got banned for life, so... Why did he get banned on Etsy? Now, that, that makes me a little bit scared that like what he's doing is maybe something that's going to get us banned but let's see what he has to say what happened was i tried setting up an etsy account for my friend because i wanted them to like do etsy but the mistake was i did it on my own laptop right so as soon as i made the account for them i go and check my own account and then i just see that it says banned and then a few minutes after oh. i check my other store and then it also says banned and i'm like bro what the heck i just got banned twice in a row well actually it's three times because their store got banned and my two stores got banned so three bans in one in one day bro i realized like i was permanently banned this time so bro i was so sad that day so i'm literally passing the torch to you right now so that you can start generating good profit on etsy so don't disappoint me also apparently uh, that it's a good warning and this is i always say there's always stuff that we can learn from these videos which is like one of the perks of doing these uh, i i learn you guys learn as well is if you are ever thinking about doing etsy which i've heard over and over and over again people are actually really making money on there just make sure you only have one account so I'll show you how not to get banned because eventually I had to learn my lesson and I learned how to actually not get banned this time. So the way I would start Etsy once again is not through physical dropshipping because if you go and read their terms and conditions and stuff like that, dropshipping is not really allowed. Instead, I would do print on demand because one, print on demand is actually legal on Etsy. So you can pretty much... What's the difference between dropshipping and print on demand? I, I mean, I understand print on demand is you sell something like a, like a cup and that cup has a like a logo or something on it. But if you're drop shipping, I mean, you're you're pretty much doing the same thing. I guess it's just not personalized. I should do it without getting banned. And two, there's so many ideas for a print on demand. So like it's literally unlimited. Like the only limitation for a print on demand is just your mindset, bro. Oh, and if you don't know what print on demand is, well, first of all, that's crazy, man. <laughs> Basically, you put a design on a product, but the design doesn't get printed until the customer orders. So when they order, the design gets print on demand. So that's the nice thing about it is you don't have to actually have the like the stock you don't have to create something and hope that someone actually buys it you only get the item created once someone's actually paid you money so you've already made your profit and you just keep the money off the top so it just gets printed on demand do you get it like that's why it's called print on demand so the site i would use for this is printify and that's because it rhymes with shopify <laughs> But also because there's so many products on Printify that you can actually use, like shoes, socks, jewelry boxes, like literally everything you can think of. So it's literally the Shopify of print on demand. So it's probably you could use any print on demand company. So if you've done this before and you've already got something that you're familiar with, I would just say stay with that. Actually, very easy. All you have to do is just he's got a lot of energy like he's did he have a lot of coffee this morning? Maybe I need to drink more coffee. Let's connect Printify. So it's actually very easy. All you have to do Okay, I'm drinking more coffee. Do is just connect Printify to Etsy and then once you get orders from Etsy, Printify will know. So they'll just fulfill the orders for you and they'll print the design on demand on the product for you. And then that way all you have to do is just make the designs, put them on the products and just add more products and that's it. The fulfilling is done for you, which is why I love this method. So let me show you how I would make the designs, okay? Okay, so focus. So I wonder what his incentive is for doing this. Like I mean, he could make money on ads from YouTube. That's great, but um, I wonder if he has like a course or something that he's selling now. Like I always, I always think about what, it, what's, why are they doing this? We'll go on Pinterest and we're just going to type in things like tease design. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to get inspired from things that are online right now that are actually working. So then we can take those designs online and then make our own and then put them on the products that we're going to sell. So if we scroll down one minute, 37 seconds later, he's got some creative editing going on here. So he's definitely, I like his little, like, look at this one, like the little SpongeBob thing. Uh, 
Uh, he's having fun with it. So for example, this one right here, so free spirit, kind heart, brave soul, T. So you can see the design here is definitely a print on demand design. And what's funny is that on Pinterest, this is linked to Etsy. So if you click on the Etsy link, you could see here this store right here has 1,000 sales, mm -hmm. which is not that. It's nice that you can actually see how many sales it has. Not bad, like it's not a huge amount of sales, but this just shows that this could be like a new seller. So then what I would do, I would go on their store and I just want to stock like everything that everything else that, that they're doing. Also, you see how you can press this button here? So I would press this button because that shows you what are their most recent sales. And then when you see the most recent sales, you're able to see like what's actually selling on this store. So for example here, you could see that this right here is selling pretty good because so they got one sale here, then they got one sale here. And then they got one sale here, and then one sale here. So this product is pretty good. So I would click on this product. It's great. Like you're actually able to kind of copy other people's success, which you, I mean, it's free information out there. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Go and find what's working and do that. Product and see what exactly is it. So as we can see here, okay, so it's a love text with a baseball heart. And I'm pretty sure this is like a baseball thing. I'm not that familiar with baseball, but it seems like a softball mom's legging or like a baseball leggings. So you can see like it's targeting like a specific market, which is mothers who are interested in baseball or, or softball. I don't know the difference between both, but it says softball and baseball, which means that if I come right now, I can make a design that's pretty similar to this. And as a result, I would be able to get more sales because they're clearly getting sales right now so the way i would design the whole thing is i would go smart i like the way he thinks on raw pixel which is this website right here and then i would click on elements and then from here you're able to search up any elements in png that you want so for example never heard of this website so a new thing that we've learned today i can search up baseball and then once i search this up I would go on filters and make sure that I'm sorting everything by free. So then, for example, there are all these designs in PNG. So let's just say I want to pick this one, for example. I would go and I would download it. So once you downloaded the raw pixel PNG file, all you have to do is just go to Printify now. So then you will be on this page right here. This is where you can create all these custom products that you want and then design everything that you want. So then all you got to do... Is these Printify websites, almost like I want to go there myself and make myself some t-shirts. Like you can make it any kind of stuff that you want on here and it's going to all be original. Here is just click start for free and just go through the process where you create your own account and just basically sign up, put your email, put your password and all that stuff. It's very easy. Don't get stuck on this step. Then you'll be on a page like this one. So we were doing pants for women or like leggings for women. We, so I have to go on catalog and then we click on bottoms for women's clothing. And then this will lead us to this page. Now here you just pick whichever product that you, that you want. So for example, like this one, I would just pick this one and then you go down and just click start designing. So this right here is where you'll, you'll design everything. So first of all, just put the PNG file that you downloaded from Rob pixel so i'd click on my device and then i would take this image that i downloaded from raw pixel right now we're designing the right leg so we're gonna make it just a bit smaller and just put it maybe in the middle so i know this is not cool. the best design but this is just showing an example and so since we have it like this for now we can just click preview so we can see how it actually looks like when it's actually on the pants so it looks like this which is pretty ugly so let's <laughs> fix this so what i'm thinking of doing is maybe having like the ball here and then maybe turn it into a pattern so i would have to go down and then click create pattern and it's gonna look like this. Oh, that's so then I would just click brick vertical because I want it to look like a, it's a bit like a vertical thing. And with this one, let's just see how it looks. So it looks just like this. Now this isn't my best design. I'm not an artist, just so you know. But the idea is that you take a design that's yeah. been, that's working I, I can, for someone, you take inspiration from it. Like for example, the baseball thing, and you just go and you create your own. Now you do have to spend like a bit of time in this one. Like I'm not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna spend like an hour just to do this. But once you're done with this, like let's say, let's just say I'm happy with this design right now. I would click on save products and I would go down. I would the cool thing again is you. You don't have to actually ever print it you, you find the ones that are working and then sell the ones that are working and you don't have to waste any money creating a product that no one's ever going to buy try to fill all this up now to fill this up you do have to make it like etsy seo friendly do you know what i mean and the way i would make it etsy seo friendly is by going on etsy and seeing what other people mm -hmm. are naming their titles and their descriptions for their products and basically i'm just going to write something very similar to them so for example yeah, you don't have to copy them just write something similar this, this person right here says softball leggings softball mom's leggings and all that stuff. Let's say this, this does relate. So I would take it, I would copy it and I would put it right here. Now, yes, I would fix some stuff. Like for example, like softball leggings, I would type softball women's leggings. And then you would go on the other Etsy product and then look at the description and try to copy the description as well. Now you don't have to do it word for word. I'm not saying do it word for word. I'm saying like copy it, but then change the words so that it's actually your own too. And I wonder what their terms of service are on like on actually just copying it word for word. Like you might actually not even get in trouble, but it's probably better and maybe just ethically better to change it up a little bit. Then I would come and just put it here. And I recommend adding different sizes, but it seems that for this supplier, there aren't more sizes, which is pretty bad. So I would actually go back and try to pick a different supplier that has like small, medium, mm. and then large. This one apparently just has four extra large, <laughs> which 
I don't know why they have that, but that's just the way it is. And then for the pricing, I would price it in a way where it's pretty much similar to the other people on Etsy. Like for example, this one's a $40, which is not that bad because this one is for the 4XL. Then you go down and you just click connect store and you just click connect to Etsy and you should be that's able to easy. connect it to your own store. And Look how easy that is. And this way, once you have orders coming in from your Etsy store, Printify will be notified and they will fulfill the orders for you. But now once again, the whole thing with this is that you have to be finding designs that people actually want yeah. and you have to create them in a way where they look good. And the only way you can do that is by going on Etsy and seeing what other people have and getting inspiration from that. Yeah, don't try to reinvent the wheel. I tell this, or whatever you're doing, just do what's working. Don't try to be original. It's Being original is what happens when you've got experience, you've already learned how to do things and you want to test new things out with experience. But don't, don't just try to try to be the the best at something when you haven't even like be, been a novice at it yet okay so now once you have your products listed on etsy i'm going to share with you a few hacks that i learned back when i was doing etsy now these hacks are not all mine i got some of them from this guy named gray randolph great if you're watching this this is thanks to you bro but some of them I actually did do them on my own so it just so happens that we have similar tips so the first tip is that you know you can actually retarget on etsy without doing ads so the way to do that go on your etsy listing and then increase your price. Then you would run a 24 hour sale. If you don't know how to do the sale thing, it's under marketing. You just click on marketing and then sales and discounts. And then you put a this It's a really informative video. Discount code to bring back the price from where you put it to where it was originally. So if, you, if your price is at $10 and you increase it to $20, you would come and create a 50% discount code where it would bring the price down to $10 again. And then you do that literally every single day. And what's gonna happen is that the people who have the product in their in their carts, they would get a notification hmm. that says that you're doing a discount, but the discount is just the same price. Like it's not a different price, but they'll get a notification. A little bit sketchy, but it's th this whole discount thing, if you look at like big stores as well, it's, they raise the prices and then they do discounts and you think you're getting a discount, but you're really just paying a similar price. And that basically retargets them. So then you will see that you're getting more sales. This is a very powerful tactic by the way so make sure you do this another one is if you're charging free shipping you can actually charge an additional shipping method which in the past i used to do this you would do free standard shipping then you would have another shipping method that is like insured shipping so you can put like five dollars or six dollars for the domestic shipping which is like the us or canada and then for international you can do twenty dollars extra and this way you'll see that when people buy some of them will actually pay for shipping but it's not like a different type of shipping it's just insured shipping and what's insured shipping well it's just shipping that's insured so if they get their stuff lost they'll be insured. Even though for the free shipping, you should be doing that too. But it's not much different. It's just more profit into your pocket and that's it. Also, See, these are tips from a guy that's actually doing this, which is great. If you can use videos, I noticed back then when I had listings with the videos on them, they would do a lot better because most people on Etsy, they never use videos. So make sure you use videos. And it doesn't matter what kind of videos, as long as the video actually relates to the products. Like for me, I had a, I had a video of just the shoes and the video was just like doing like recording the box with the shoes and that's it. Uh, very simple, nothing nothing complicated. Also, when you're adding the products, make sure you actually fill out everything that Etsy gives you. Like Etsy is giving you these things for a reason. So fill out the tags, fill out the attributes, fill out literally everything. All right, but this last hack, this one, like I can admit, this one's not for me. This one's from Gray directly, but he says that this one should not get you banned. But what you do, basically you would go on a listing on Etsy that has the best seller sign. So you see this one right here, mm -hmm. it has the best seller sign. So it's just basically, I just picked this random product that's the best seller. So now I would zoom in on the actual bestseller sign. And you see how Etsy actually puts this for, for the product listing? I would just take a screenshot of this and then I would go on Photoshop and let's just say I'm doing this teddy bear, even though I'm not doing- That's just a little bit sketchy. I would be careful about this one. I mean, I could see them coming in and removing that. This teddy bear, but let's just say I am. So then I would add this bestseller badge on Photoshop. So first of all, I would razor size this. I'd be careful And I would click select subject and just delete everything else around the badge. And then I would put the badge on the top right, top left corner and obviously make it just a bit smaller where it looks like just like this. And then you can like play around with it. Maybe like add a bit of a shadow. If add like an outer glow that, and they you can might just make the outer glow black. So it looks just like this. You want to kind of make it seem like it's actually the bestseller badge that is on, on Etsy. So it looks just like this. And just like that, your picture stands out a lot more because it truly looks like you have the bestseller badge on your Etsy listing. And this should increase your conversions. Now, some of you are going to be like, but bro, like, doesn't this yeah. get you banned? 
Well, to be honest, I never tried it myself. But mm -hmm. Gray, the guy himself that, that is the one who taught me how to do this, he said he didn't get banned from this specific tactic. If this gets you banned, hey, it's not my fault. But no, honestly, yeah, like, this it. should not get you banned. And I hope it's not going to get you banned. But this will increase your conversion rates, like for sure. Okay, so what do you guys think of this tactic? I mean, he's got some really good advice here, but some advice that I would stay away from, like that bestseller one, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I, that sounds like something that, that would get you banned. But let me know in the comments below if you've done anything like this on Etsy or what you think about this method, if it's something that you think you would try. Also, please like this video. It really helps out with my YouTube channel, and I appreciate it. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell notification. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you again in my next video. Thanks.